After spending one and a half months in Thailand, it is time to go to the Philippines. The Philippines consists of no less than 7,641 islands. The Philippines fell under colonial rule from Spain for over 300 years, so the influence of Spain is very visible here. We took a flight to Singapore and had a nice 12 hour layover, which isn't actually that bad at this airport. You can enjoy the butterfly garden, go to the free cinema or enjoy the food court. Our journey in the Philippines starts in Cebu City, populated by over 900,000 people. The pre-Hispanic belief system of Filipinos consisted of a pantheon of gods, spirits, creatures and men that guarded the streams, fields, trees, mountains and forests. But this changed under Hispanic rule who brought Catholicism to the Philippines. Nowadays more than 86% of the population is Roman Catholic hey, Don. and this can be seen throughout the entire country. Thank you. <laughs> we walked to Yap San Diego Ancestral House. This is a house built in 1675 and originally owned by a Chinese merchant. So this is a building built in 1675. And this is still, and 90% uh, of it remains the same. It's like coral stone, uh, wood structure, a bit of a cocky cock. And, uh, and this is the garden. Nice. Yeah, and he told us that it survived it's all a, earthquakes. And uh, typhoons. Since it, yeah. So it's very special. It looks like a very luxury. Well, I think the what's in the building, like the tables and stuff, are all new. Mostly new, not from 1790 or 1675. But it's all really old, and it looks like it was a very luxurious home. The house is stuffed with items that have been collected throughout the years and we got a free tour from one of the people who worked there. By nightfall we walked further to the center, to the famous Basilica del Santo Nino, the oldest Catholic church in the country, founded in 1565. So we heard during the night it was the, the Cathedral? The Basilica del Santo Nino. Basilica del Santon Santonino and uh, it's actually the first time I see an outside church because this is an out outside part you got seating on, on both sides on the, on the outside and you got the Jesus Christ on the on there so I've never seen this and this is the this is the inside part this is the uh, basilic basilic very nice it has suffered from earthquakes and has been restored in 2015, hence the modern look and feel. Afterwards, it was time to explore the night market. Sweet potato and like coconut. They're making there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we got. The fish. Chicken and rice and lemon and chili. Uh, sea grapes. Sea grapes. Yeah. Nice. So Donya ordered at... Uh, ch choking? Is it choking? 
It's called. Is it really? Chow. Is it really called choking? <laughs> Chow. Chow. Chow King. Okay, no, not choking. Uh, she ordered ice cream with tapioca. It's called Hello Hello. It has beans, sweet potato ice cream, pandan jelly, banana, shaved ice. It look. doesn't look so good now, but it's really delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help us reach more viewers and we will see you at the next one. Like a sugar dad. It's not that sweet. It's not that sweet. Sweet. <laughs>